What's happening, y'all? Well, <laughs> seems that uh, what I've been telling y'all is uh, it's really coming more and more to fruition. Now, you're going to have to uh, look up Prince, well, he's uh, King Charles now. Well, he uh, literally stood up there and right along with Klaus Schwab, George Soros, I'm sure he was around there. Uh, if he wasn't, he had some people there. But all of these people that are talking about the NWO, the New World Order, these cats were the ones that were at this deal for the climate change. <clears throat> I think it was in Davos, I'm not sure. Uh, but... King Charles literally stood there and was talking to the same people the same way the Klaus Schwab was saying, well, well this, uh, this, uh, this group in this room, you know, we must master the universe. Hitler said the same fucking thing, man. And now Prince Charles has literally stood up there and told people that with an organization, a worldly organization with trillions, not billions, at its disposal to have a military style organization, a military style operation to just finally bring everybody under their rule and do what they want to do, which would entail the NWO and the WEF and all that, everybody, all the elites around the world are concentrated on getting the population down to 500 million worldwide. Why? 500 million is a more controllable population rather than 7, 8 plus billion. You see what I mean? India is very close or already they're over a billion people too but they're pretty close to surpassing China in population okay now King Charles said with trillions not billions at its disposal to do whatever okay well let me get you let's do a little math Literally two-thirds of the population is over there in Europe. There's 300 and something million here in the U.S. Well, with Canada and South America and all that, well, there's roughly your 500 million. But that means just everything is left to, you know, Europe. For the death and destruction kind of thing. But it's not going to happen that way. Because the biggest thing to do is start hitting people. Not only with their money. And then their, their grocery, fuel, you know, everything else. Power and all that. Yes, that's how you weaken people. And that's one of the things that they've been talking about for a very long time. Is trying to get the population down to 500 million worldwide because they can control it. So <clears throat> that was a little bit ago, not too, too, I mean, probably about a few weeks, maybe a month ago, I guess. I, 
I just remember seeing it, you know, searching through some stuff, and I seen him, and I stopped listening to what he had to say and saw where he was at, what he was doing, who he was talking about, and, yeah, I just thought, oh, yeah, really? Well, let's just see how that comes out. Well, the, the deal that's going on over there in Russia and Ukraine and all of them, even Poland, Germany, Russia, Ukraine, all of them are, you know, building up left and right. There's American troops over there. They're building up tanks. They're trying to do everything they can to keep a an election from happening. I mean, they everybody knows that they stole it. But see, the thing is, is the white hat operation that's happening, that's the reason why about uh, even Matt Gates, uh, he's uh, helping with the uh, the GOP to actually go after everybody that is literally robbing us the people, okay? But you're not hearing about that because all the other people, even Fox and Murdoch, have jumped in bed because, just to say, that's something else that's what I was talking about on that other one. Tucker is getting bigger than all of them. He knows everything about the Clintons, all of it. I mean, the whole nine yards. He himself has enough ties inside with the CIA and everybody, you know, whatever. He has his way and his sources of getting his info. Tucker is dangerous for them. And not only for that, but being able to centralize and rally the American people against the godless demons that are trying to swarm in from the southern border and, you know, listen up to the, the northern border, how Canada is real friendly with everybody, and then the cartel is working with China over here, and, and yes, look at the, the, uh, the Panama Canal. You know, Iran, uh, Russia, China has been there for eons. From what I understand, there's even some heavy artillery on the ground. And now they've been doing it little bit by little bit. You know, they don't need a, a whole bunch of ships, what people think, when they already have people that are getting here underground and under the table and everything like that. Bam, bam, bam. And they've been doing it. You know, there's a small little army right there that everybody can get on these things just like Antifa and all them. Be able to send out a message and whoosh, here's here's the how many people? A couple hundred at the drop of a hat. Well we gotta kinda get the same thing. We gotta get the same thing. So but that's just a few things that's happening. I've got some more information that I want to put out. Things that are just coming together. I didn't want to chat you up too damn much because it's a lot to take in. But there's still the more, still more going on as we, as we go. I mean, it just keeps. It never stops. It never stops. So there's always something else coming up and new things that are happening. And yeah, it's just a, it's just a fuster club. But also too, y'all check out. Like I said on the. Uh, the other deal, the Sean Ryan YouTube, Sean Ryan clips, uh, things like that. These are ex-Special Forces guys, ex-military guys, and they talk to other uh, Special Forces and all. Even the people that took out Bin Laden and all. You know, things that people think that aren't true. You get to talk to and see the people that were there, man. So, you know, the... The Sky News Australia, they're another one that uh, it's pretty funny watching them, but they tell the truth. It's straight up, no BS, and they're kind of like us, you know. They know what's happening about with Soros and everybody. You know, China, the whole nine yards, China's pretty much uh, started talking about trying to uh, uh, put a blockade on them to where nothing in, nothing out of Australia. Yeah, China was talking about some shit like that. But that didn't go, you know. But anyway, that Forbes breaking news on YouTube. Go check it out. Go check it out. I got more. I'll talk to you later. Appreciate y'all. Later.